The Nuggets secured a much needed win Thursday night and we've got a full weekend ahead of us in the Denver sports world. So let's just jump right in. This is your Breck Brew Sports Report. The Nuggets beat the Portland Trailblazers 114-99 at the Pepsi Center Thursday night, snapping a three game losing streak. After struggling for multiple games, Denver's offense got into a rhythm while making twice as many three pointers as Portland and scoring over 100 points for only the second time this month. The Nuggets would finish the first half with a nine point lead, but the Blazers rallied back in the third to cut the deficit to one. The Nuggets responded with a 19-4 run of their own to finish out the quarter and carry it into the fourth. They would pad their lead to 18 points and seize control of the game in that final quarter. Jeremy Grant and Nikola Jokic both led the team with 20 points on the night. Former Nuggets All-Star Carmelo Anthony chipped in 20 points for his new team, but it just wouldn't be enough. The team now continues its season-long five-game homestand with a visit from the Thunder on Saturday. Moving on to some hockey, the Colorado Avalanche welcome the New Jersey Devils to the Pepsi Center tonight for a 7 p.m. puck drop. Goaltender Philip Grubauer, who has been out with a lower body injury for two games, could be back in net tonight. He participated in optional practice on Thursday, and head coach Jared Bednar said Grub is probable for the matchup. More on the injuries, Eric Johnson and Kiel McCarr skated in red non-contact jerseys before the team session. Bender told the media McCarr will miss another game but could return on Monday. Be sure to stay up to date on what happens today at Morning Skate by following DNVR underscore Avalanche on Twitter. And finally, the Denver Broncos take on the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead on Sunday. The Broncos are riding a two-game win streak and look to have gained a lot of confidence heading into this game, but it is going to be a tough challenge for Drew Locke. Kickoff is scheduled for 11 a.m. And as always, be sure to follow all of our content on the DNVR.com.